let's not forget that there was a student life here on campus in the 1950s and 1960s that was in a lot of ways different from what you might think of when you think of college in the 50s and the 1960s. For all intents and purposes, the upheavals of the 19, late 1950s and 1960s passed Casnovia College by. It was an institution of higher learning for young women young women with traditions that are revered by our alumni now. For example, the tradition that mandated that freshmen wore a beanie, a little hat, all the way through their freshman year or bad things would happen to you or something. And freshmen and sophomores both wore blazers. The beanies and the blazers were worn to class and to virtually every other significant function. Some people see that as conformity. Some people see that as a revered tradition. A lot of people like to criticize women's education at the time. Some of them point to the May Day uh, celebration. Yes, those are college students, and yes, that is a maypole on the quad. But this was a bonding experience. Alumni have told us that this was one of the, and, and it led to the crowning of the May Queen. You can see the May Queen in the back left of that photograph, that this led to a bonding for young women that wasn't available to them in any other kind of education. And they look back on the all women's educational uh, experience as a significant moment in their lives. And it was a transitionary moment as well, because the college, the junior college, was not just offering uh, classes that would transfer to a four-year institution. And they weren't just offer, offering the opportunity for young women to learn social graces so that they could go out and marry a rich individual, although both of those were part of women's education. But Casanova College for Women was, again, singular in that they were one of the first institutions in the country to begin to offer um, courses that would lead to the possibility of careers for women, big in, edge, in secretarial, uh, one of the first in human services, one of the first to offer a two-year degree in equine studies, and one of the first to offer a two-year degree um, in, uh, in uh, general business for women. So it was a transitionary period. 